Hello everybody, how are you? And uh, this is uh, Navarun and I am back after a long time and here is my new tutorial about how to create a an escalator in 3ds Max. Well, to be honest, it is very uh, easy to create an escalator and uh, I'll be providing uh, a link to the file and you can download so let's see how we can create an escalator in 3ds Max. So let's start by creating, I mean selecting the line tool and let's just, I, I will be teaching you the basic, I mean how to, I mean the how to video of this, not the detailed that you can then uh, model this according to your needs. So an escalator is like this and uh, like shade shape so I'm creating the line so you can see here we are going to create the down shape and then shift and right click to finish the design now what we need to do is to get this line something uh, roundish because we don't need a jerk here and here too. Select this line, select uh, this corner point and select and it, make it a bezier so that our uh, object will follow it. Now you might be thinking that how you can create a, an escalator by using this. Now the answer to your question is a very simple like you, you, uh, like you know in, um, in the real world how an escalator looks. So let us just find how an escalator looks. So here is an image of an escalator and as you can see escalators are like uh, going up one one row is going up and the, uh, and the next row is going down so we need to create that and you, you can see here and here's the basics <laughs> we are not going to in the technical uh, details of the escalator but um, here you can see escalator was like this and and here is your here is the mechanics like the steps will go down or up based on the direction of the pulleys so we will what we will need to do in 3d is just this part not this part not the mechanical and technical details just the, this part just this part and our steps will go up and down so it, it can be uh, configured uh, and configured and manually so let's just uh, select an image and I, I should have done that, done this before now here's the thing our steps will be go I, I'm not going to design this thing and this thing I'll provide a link to this so that you can download this kind of escalator I am what I am trying to um, teach you is how to create this escalator my technique is not that uh, unique but still you can follow it to get your result. Now what we need to do is to create the steps. To create the steps we are just going to use simple box or we can uh, use the rectangle tool to design the steps. So just select this I mean just create a rectangle like this, this for the for the ste steps right click it convert to a table spline just select the corner make it corner make it corner select the points now the thing is what we have to do is to make an extrude and uh, you, you could do this by uh, only using the box tool but 
but here I am just going to um, and uh, one thing is that it is not exact to scale I'm just doing this you can you can just you can build uh, like a uh, to scale I mean the one step is like uh, five feet or seven feet so you can uh, change your unit here and make it six feet or five feet I'm just doing this for a for this demonstration actually now what you need to do is to select the effect uh, pivot tool and center to object and it will go to the center okay okay so now what we need to do we need to do a very basic step and it is also uh, and mind it uh, it is it is also an experimental thing and that is um, what I'm talking about is that how many steps you need to do you need to do it uh, come in a couple of times so make sure you save your scene so you just uh, well so uh, we need uh, several of this uh, geometry to follow this line to form the escalator now uh, what I have learned is if you uh, mm, if you click and uh, modify this segment to uh, for a round shape um, instead of a corner shape you have a problem at this corner uh, we could have just um, shift drag and then um, we, we could have just increased the copies and that, that will follow if only if this section is a corner but here we can't do that because uh, we have a, uh, a rounded shape so instead what we will do we will do it manually like this yes this is the scene and then we just do this manually and what we are doing to going to what we are doing is just avoiding this for this section and uh, the reason is um, array the array will not work you know about array I will uh, yes I will um, I will tell you how to use array array tool in 3 Max now here is the thing this looks good I mean this uh, this steps they work now array will do us uh, array will uh, give us the um, exact uh, uh, I mean count and uh, thing what we need to do is this uh, just select this and then click the array tool and the count if the count is 10 okay um, then just select the preview box and if in the x direction just put positive numbers now array uh, and look at this thing array is giving us a nice nice thing and I mean uh, it is perfect it is not that perfect but it is working fine for this scene, for this setup okay so uh, we have 10 count and uh, just let it uh, there and click ok now you, you have to do it manually because of that round shape and yes now just you can just instance four times and that's it and you have made your first skeleton scene now the thing is that I, I recommend that you not to use the I mean the roundish uh, the roundish shape because roundish shape will give you some trouble as you can as, as you can see we have some trouble now let's play this you can see that that you can see that uh, our skeleton is playing nicely now we have some uh, issues with the we have some issues with the here I mean for the carby thing and our scene will stop here but you, you could just uh, increase the time length and play so it is a very easy way to create a scler I know that it is not uh, not that I mean uh, well, uh, well done I mean it is not that I mean it, it is not that good but it is a simple way uh, that you can uh, follow to create a an escalator, an animated escalator uh, for the steps actually, and that's it. I think it helps. Good luck. Thank you.